Today, we're delving into a topic that comes up repeatedly, the afterlife of offshore oil rigs. Join us as we delve into the world of rigs to reef programs, the transformation of these industrial structures into vibrant marine ecosystems. Our industry currently faces a significant challenge, the fate of over 12,000 offshore installations worldwide as they approach the end of their operational lifespan. In many jurisdictions, regulations may dictate the complete removal of these structures, but this approach presents two major issues. Firstly, it can be detrimental to the marine ecosystems that have developed around these structures over decades. And secondly, it imposes substantial financial burdens on operating companies. Luckily, the industry has been seeking alternative solutions, leading to the development of the Rigs to Reef program. The Rigs to Reefs concept involves repurposing decommissioned offshore platforms as artificial reefs. So how does it work? Once a rig is no longer profitable, the wells are sealed and the above water structure is removed. But instead of completely dismantling the underwater portion, it's left in place, preserving the ecosystem that's developed over time. This concept first emerged in the 1980s in the Gulf of Mexico and has gained traction ever since. Five coastal states in the Gulf have implemented this program, which has converted over 500 platforms into artificial reefs. The concept has also been adopted internationally, with countries such as Malaysia and Brunei implementing similar programs. But why is this so great? Well, these rigs have become some of the most fertile fish habitats in the world, they're like underwater skyscrapers, providing food, shelter and breeding grounds for a diverse range of marine life. And some species actually prefer these artificial reefs to natural ones. From an industry perspective, converting a rig to a reef is significantly less expensive than for removal. We're talking potential savings in the millions. Plus, in the US, companies only need to spend half of their decommissioning budget on the state's artificial reef program, the rest goes towards maintaining the structure, education and marine conservation. But it's not just about saving money. These transformed rigs become hotspots for marine life, attracting divers, snorkelers and recreational fishers, so it not only boosts local tourism but benefits marine conservation. Over 150 platforms have been successfully converted to permanent reefs in the Gulf of Mexico alone. A notable example is ExxonMobil's relocation of its subsea production system from offshore Louisiana to an artificial reef site in Florida in 1979. Internationally, Brunei Shell Petroleum has been an active participant since 1988, relocating multiple obsolete platforms to designated artificial reef areas. It's clear that Rigs to Reefs programs offer an innovative solution to a complex problem, they're cost-effective and environmentally friendly, and they're breathing new life into ageing infrastructure. So next time you're working on a decommissioning project, consider the potential for creating a legacy that goes beyond oil production. Your next project could be the foundation for a vibrant underwater ecosystem. If you're interested in taking the next step in your engineering career, head to nesfurcroft.com where you can find all our open vacancies and register your CV with us. For more engineering content and career advice, subscribe to our channel, like this video and follow us on LinkedIn at NES Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.